Disclaimer. This episode is shorter than usual due to lack of days in school to gather content. We hope you enjoy what we do have. Hello, Henderson County High School. The time is now for a new episode of Chronocast. Today we have Brenna interviewing the student body about their opinion on Valentine's Day. We asked some faculty around the school for their advice on how to treat your Valentine. And for old time's sake, we revisited a Valentine's Day cryptid cast. Let's get to it! it. Um, do you have a Valentine this season? I do, yes. Oh, that's great. Do you have anything special going on for it? Uh, nope. Work at home. <laughs> All right. How do you feel about the holiday overall? Uh, I think it's a made-up holiday. That's fair. It yeah. definitely is. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Hi. Do you have a Valentine this season? Yes. You do? Do you have anything special planned? No. No. How do you feel about the holiday overall? It's good. It's good. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. All right. Uh, do you have a Valentine this season? No. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about the season overall? It's kind of crappy. Okay. Do you want to be my Valentine? No. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Do you have a Valentine this year? Yeah, right here. My boyfriend right here. We'll be spending it together and doing all types of fun stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Hi there. Do you have Valentine this season? No. Okay. Do you have? How do you feel about the holiday overall? I don't care much about it. Okay. Me neither. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Do you have a Valentine this season? Uh, not really. Okay. How do you feel about the season overall? Um, it's okay, I guess. Okay. <laughs> do you want to be my Valentine? Sure, let's go. Okay. Hi, do you have a Valentine this season? I do. You do? That's so exciting. Do you have anything special planned? Uh, I think I'm just going to, like, bake her a cake. That's so fun. That's always the best. Um, how do you feel about the val- like the season overall? Um, I like it. I think it's just a time where you just... You don't have to have, like, a significant other. You just spread love to other people. So I like it. It's fun. Yeah, thank you. That was really good. Okay, so you do have a Valentine this season? Uh, yes, I do. All right, do you have anything special planned? Um... Kind of. I'm making something for them. That's super cute. How do you feel about the holiday overall? Um, it def it's a depends on a yearly on my situation. Usually, I like it even if I don't like have a Valentine because it's just I don't know. I like pink. I like hearts. I like candy. It works. Yeah, it's fun. Thank you, Drew Chandler. You marvelous human being. Do you have a Valentine this season? No, I do not. Will you be my Valentine? Um. You can't say no. <laughs> what do you mean I can't say no? You can't. Um, no. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bye. Cool, Hi there. Do you have a Valentine this season? Uh, yeah, I do. That's super exciting. Um, are you doing anything special? Uh, I got her a stuffed animal and some candy. Oh, that's so cute. I'm, I'm jealous. Um, how do you feel about the holiday overall? Um, overall, I'm not a big fan, really. Yeah, me neither. It seems kind of like overdone. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, thank you very much. So, do you have a Valentine this season? Um, no. No? Okay. How do you feel about the holiday in general? I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, I like Valentine's Day. My mom gives me candy and stuff, so. Well, that's always good. Do you want to be my Valentine? Sure. Oh, my gosh. Do you have a Valentine this season? I do. Well, that's super exciting. Are you doing anything romantic for the weekend? No. No? Okay. Thank you. Do you, have a, do you have a Valentine this special season? I do. His name's Jackson Stop. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that, am I? I'm sorry. Yes, Dana Stoffer. Okay, that's wonderful. Do you have any big plans? We do. We're going on a romantic weekend next week, and we're going to Sevierville or Pigeon Forge for the weekend. But don't tell my kids, because they don't know that. 
That sounds really fun. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's oh, Day. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful time. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Kirsten and Ava back with another episode of the cryptid cast we've got a serious cryptid to uncover so let's get into it this episode's cryptid Miss English or as my sources say Cupid we have uncovered some serious evidence on the suspect and compiled them just for you let's get into it Kirsten here with Jamira Johnson uh, you seen Cupid around here mm, a little but not all the time you think it's any of our teachers I have some theories, but I can't pinpoint exactly who. You think keep it around here? Uh, yeah, I have. Think it's any of our teachers? Uh, no, definitely not. Hey, it's Kirsten here with Maddie. I'm asking, um, you seen keep it around here? No, but I think it might be Miss English. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Even with this evidence, we may never truly know the real truth. After all, we can never uncover her, their secret, or we may lose the most loving holiday of the year. Keep your eye out, Colonels. Be sure to send any further evidence you notice on this situation to Colonel Cast on Instagram or Twitter to help. Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little mama, you be my Valentine this year. Put down your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Not a weapon, it's just love. Sir, resistance fighters. <laughs> hey, little mama, you be my Valentine. Put down your weapons. <laughs> you be my Valentine this year. We're taking you into custody. I'll take it. the bright things and think about what you got going for you and even if you don't think that there's something going on you can there's always somebody that got it worse and you can always get better i'm a guy i'm a senior and things i do to stay positive are talk to friends talk to counselors and exercise hey it's law from hazelwood and whenever i want to stay focused i just throw in some earbuds or find somewhere quiet in my house so that i can get all the stuff done 
Hi friends, I'm Marissa Littrell and one thing that I do to remain positive or keep myself from being negative is a lot of times I'll just go get in my car, drive around, listen to music, and sometimes I'll go pick up Lainey Buckman too. Hi, I'm Diana McGuire and in order for me to focus on the positive, I'll listen to music and play basketball. This has been a school year like no other. Getting work done at home can be harder than ever, but we still have some tools that we can harness to continue getting work done at home during our busy school weeks. I don't know about you, but the hardest part of my day is always getting started. But having a positive work environment can get me there faster. This can include somewhere comfortable, but not comfortable enough to fall asleep, and with limited distractions like your phone. Another tool to help you get you through your school day is using self-care and positivity. This can include allowing yourself to take breaks during the day when you're feeling burnt out and reminding yourself that trying your best is good enough. The easiest and most effective ways to getting work done during the school week is keeping track of your assignments. I begin every school week by writing out a list of my assignments and designating a set number of them to do each school day. This not only helps me keep on pace during my classes, but it also gives me a sense of the end of the school day and lets me relax during the evenings.